Greetings, it's McCartney Taylor here. It's uh, September 25th, 2009. Uh, we've got a hive in a soffit. I've been called out to go do an extraction. Uh, normally I just get right to it and show you all the good stuff that happens while tearing this thing apart. But first, let's go over the tools you need because a lot of people are using these videos as tutorials. So, gear. All right, this is the yellow monster. It is a BVAC. It's going to hook up into a power vac that hooks up into the lower uh, jack here. The extraction tube is on the top. And then down here, we've got the uh, Langstroth. The frames already have rubber bands ready to go to put over the extracted comb that will cut into that shape. You need a stapler to staple uh, the closings of the entrance of your hive whenever you want to move it at the end of the job. Also, you will need ah, these. You will need a bucket of water to wash your hands in. You're going to get sticky. You'll need a couple of five gallon buckets uh, to put comb and honeycomb in. Uh, you're going to need your smoker. I always have a blowtorch to light my smoker. Extension cord. And a very important thing, your sawzall. Uh, this is going to cut through uh, any wood you're dealing with. And it's battery operated, so you don't have to worry about power cords in case you don't have them. Uh, and then a contingency bucket with all kinds of stuff, extras, anything that breaks, you've got some way to repair it. All right, with that said, I need to get prepared to do the cutout. Okay, frontline weapons. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we've got the crowbar you'll need to get into stuff. Tie wraps because all kinds of useful applications. Uh, a comb cutting knife, preferably sharp or serrated. A bee brush to get things off combs if the bee vac doesn't work fast enough. Uh, a stick. A stick's very important. This is what you turn your camera on and off with when you're doing a bee job so that you don't get honey all over your camera. So you can get one end sticky and not the other. But you do want a camera. You want proof that you did the cutout. People may not believe you and also you want to show for bragging rights. Uh, this is the heavy goatskin gloves for the initial assault to tear into it. Once you're into comb cutting mode, you want nitrile gloves. It's a special type of glove that's resistant to punctures. Nitrile gloves for dexterity. So you're going to put your gloves on, put some duct tape around to tape them to your wrist so they don't get in, and you are sting resistant but not sting proof, but you have much higher dexterity. Very important. Uh, now on the tie wraps, I'm going to use one up here. Now you may not be able to see it. I'm going to focus on it, but there is a hook, a very small hook, right here. That small hook I'm going to hook a tie wrap to and suspend my vacuum suction tube to keep the weight off of my upper body because it will drain me after a few hours. And let's get back to work, boys. Okay, the first thing I want to do is assess where the combs are. So I'm going to go up to the suspect soffit area and tap. Okay, the first thing I did was cut an exploratory hole and I found this is indeed where the hive is. 
So now that I got the small hole, I'm going to go continue and cut a much wider uh, access hole for me and see how exactly how big this is. Before I go further, though, I'm going to suck off as many bees as I can so they don't buzz me while I'm doing work. Okay, uh, this is definitely a hot hive, very aggressive. They stung me through my veil and got the tip of my nose, which hurts like a booger. Uh, well, let me rephrase that. It hurts like a son of a bitch. Uh, and they filled up this soffit. It looks like all the way to the joist. So I'm going to cut through the joist. I'm going to cut all the way and see if they've gotten in the next one. I suspect this is not where they end. I bet this hive is bigger than this. It's already dripping honey, so this is going to be real fun. And I've got way too many guard bees taking too much of an interest in me, more than is healthy. So I uh, think I need to vacuum up the guard bees as fast as I can. Okay, I'm about uh, four or five combs into it. This is a freshly cut brood comb. Uh, the nice light tan markings. Uh, there is a little bit of honey up here, but not much. Uh, there is a little bit of pollen here. Uh, there are eggs in here, and there are grubs and sealed uh, larvae, cap brood. Same thing goes for this end. Now I cut it off abruptly here because that was all drone brood, and you don't want to keep drones. Okay, I have cut it, lost about an inch on that end, and about an inch on that end. Uh, I've got three rubber bands supporting it in a deep. Uh, this is just an unusually shallow piece of brood comb. Normally they're, they're full height, but this was out of a soffit. So we've gotten now uh, about seven smallish cones, uh, three or four long ones. I don't know how far this goes up in there. I got to still keep cutting out, but I got a bad feeling this is a thin hive that runs a long way. Not too sure what I'm gonna do about that, except cut it out and say what I can. All right, here we are about an hour later. Uh, we've cleaned out to where we're almost at the back of the hive, I think. And it looks like we've just finished the clearing the brood comb. I got 10 half brood combs out of this thing, full length, but half height, about the height of supers. And the rest of this should be probably mostly honeycomb. So I'm gonna be in for some honey. hours later uh, we're done. Uh, the extent of the hive went up a little bit past that beam but that was it. Uh, Ten half frames is brood nest in total. Uh, we got maybe uh, 15 pounds, uh, 10 pounds of honey out of it. Um, there's now robbing going on from other hives. It's going crazy ape. Crazy. And uh, we're now, I'm now just packing up my tools and getting out of here. Uh, I didn't get to use my smoker, which is good, because if you smoke bees while you're doing cutouts, it drives them way back in the crannies and crevices. So even though they didn't like me too much and they stung me a couple of times, I didn't think I was under enough of a threat to use smoke, which saves me a lot of hassle to vacuum up. Uh, the initial vacuum, I had too much suction. I think I killed a uh, thousand bees or so. But I lowered that, and I think I'm better off now. I'm still leaving behind thousands of bees, but they're not lighting on anything, and I think it's all robbing. Uh, but you get the idea. As you show up with the right tools, uh, you adapt to the situation, the environment, and you uh, make life easy if you have a bee vac, a ladder, a wash bucket, and a cordless uh, sawzall. I think that's about it. I saved some honey for the landowner. I'm going to go give it to her now.